hi guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we'll be looking how you can install docker on amazon linux ec2 instance so we'll start with the aws console so first of all you have to log in into your aws console and you in the services search bar you have to search for ec2 instance and once you get to ec2 service you'll click on the service and we'll launch our ec2 instance first so let's click on instances and we'll click on launch instances it will take us to another page where we'll fill in the details of our instances so the first thing it is asking is the name of the server that we're trying to start uh, so let's say let's call it web server for docker then this is the default uh, amazon linux server that is being selected uh, so we'll keep this as it is so this is the ami amazon linux 2023 ami that we are going to keep it as it is because it is also a part of free tier eligible so since all the services that we're going to use are free tier eligible services so we are planning to keep amazon linux 2023 ami over here next thing is we have instance types so t2 micro is the one that we're going to keep again this is free tier eligible then the next thing is we have to enable the key pair so we use key pair to securely log in into our ec2 instances so basically when creating an ec2 instance you have an option to create or import a key pair so that you can be used to securely connect to the instance via ssh so we will be connecting to our instance via ssh in a while and the key pair consists of a public key that you place on the instance and a private key that you keep safe and secure. So the reason we are creating a key pair is to ensure secure access to our EC2 instances. So whenever I will launch an EC2 instance, uh, I need to specify the key pair to use it for SSH purposes. So now let's create a new key pair. We'll click on create new key pair and we'll name the key pair. So let's call it docker key pair. And we'll keep the key pair type, uh, the default one, which is RSA and uh, private key file format also .pem. And we will click on create key pair button. So with this, a uh, key is being downloaded to our local machine and we will be using it while we will be doing uh, SSH to our instance. Next thing is network sec settings. So in network settings, you will see that we have two options, create security group and select existing security group. So by default, each EC2 instance is assigned a private IP address and a public IP address. The private IP address is used for communication within the VPC while the public IP address is used for communication over the internet. So when you connect to an EC2 instance using SSH, you need to use its public IP address or let's say public DNS name, which resolves the public IP address. So if you're connecting your computer outside the VPC, so let's say I, I'll be connecting uh, my Windows machine uh, to the EC2 instance that I'm creating just now. So I need to ensure that the security group that is associated with the instance that I'm going to launch has the inbound SSH traffic, it allows the inbound SSH traffic. So let's say if I select an existing uh, security group, I select my launch wizard one. So the security group that you're going to use in that type SSH and port range 22, it should be enabled. So in that case, you can SSH it from your local machine. Next, we are going to uh, keep the storage as it is, what is given over here. And we are not going to make any changes to the advanced details as well. So this is a summary of the EC2 instance that will be created and we will click on launch instance. So this will launch our EC2 instance. Let's go to instances and see if our instance is running. So it says it's in pending state. So let's uh, wait for it to get started. So our instance isn't started, uh, is in running state now. So what we have to do is we have to SSH to this particular instance from our local machine. So let's say we'll select this particular uh, server that we just created and we'll click on connect button over here. And once we click on connect button, uh, there are these 
four tabs which are present ec2 instance connect session manager ssh client so you will click on ssh client and you will find the command in order to ssh from your local uh, kept over here so basically uh, the command is ssh minus i uh, and then we are going to give the name of the file that we created the key pair that we created which got downloaded in our local and finally the name of the user which we are going to use and in the end we are going to give the public dns num uh, public dns over here so let's copy this command and i will go to the location where i have kept my docker key pair dot pem file and i will start my command from from that particular location we have copied the command and we'll paste the command on our command prompt on our windows machine and then we will hit the enter then it will ask are you sure you want to continue connecting you have to write yes over here in order to make sure that you are trying to connect and then it will say that it is uh, connected to your host it is permanently adding this particular host you can file some commands and check like if you see pwd your current directory so you will find slash home slash ec2 dash user so that is the user where you are currently now we will start with the docker installation so the first thing that we are going to do for our docker installation is we are going to run the command to update the package index so we are going to use the command sudo yum update minus y so once we will run this particular command all the uh, dependencies will be updated and the package will be updated so once this command is being executed next what we are going to do is we are going to run the command to install the docker so the command that we are going to use is sudo yum install minus y docker in order to install the docker on our linux machine and you will hit enter so you can see that the docker is getting installed over here it will install all the packages and the dependencies that are required for docker to be installed on your linux machine on your ec2 instance machines so your docker has been installed and we'll verify that it has been installed successfully or not in a while once you have done this particular thing then what you have to do is after the installation is complete we are going to start the docker service and also before that we can check that whether the docker has been installed or not in our uh, ec2 machine so we will try to find our docker version so we will run the command sudo docker minus minus version so once i executed this command you can see that it has shown me the version of the docker that has been installed currently next thing which we are going to do is we are going to start our docker service so the docker for starting the docker service we are going to use the command sudo service docker start so let's put that command over here sudo service docker start in order to start our docker so this will make sure that our docker has been started successfully now let's try getting some more info about docker so that we can run this command uh, sudo docker info this will give info about the docker container that we are running sudo docker info so this is the information that it has pulled us for us after running the command sudo docker info so it says these are the containers this many images are there and this is the server version this is the storage driver and all these details which you can go through also if you want to know that whether this doctor is running successfully or not so for that you can use uh, sudo systemctl is active docker this particular command in order to check if the docker is in active state or not on our machine so let's try running this particular command so this command when we execute this command we will see that the output is active it says that the docker is active currently so let's say if we want to pull an image uh, so for that we will file the command uh, sudo docker pull alpine so this is a lightweight os that we are trying to pull so it will start downloading the alpine and it will say that the pull has been complete and we have the latest image the newer image of alpine is present on our uh, machine so for that what we can do is we can also run this command docker images docker image ls so this will give us okay so it says we don't have permission so for that we need to use sudo docker image ls so you will see that it shows us that we have the 
latest image uh, of alpine that we just downloaded so that's it for today i hope this video was informative to you and you have learned something on how to download docker on your ec2 machine so please subscribe to our channel and give it a thumbs up if this video was helpful for you and stay tuned for more such informative videos thank you bye bye